Did you know that Nido King actually undergoes a massive diet change from its previous evolutions? So Nidoran here is just basically like a weird purple venomous rodent or a lagomorph like a rabbit. It has really large incisors which are useful for gnawing and cutting down vegetation. And then once it evolves into Nidorino, you can kind of think of this as like a purple poisonous badger. It's more carnivorous than its previous evolution, but it probably does still eat some plant matter, making this thing pretty omnivorous. And then once it evolves into Nido King, it appears like it becomes more carnivorous. Its teeth are large, conical, and have sharp edges, and suggest that this thing is probably carnivorous. It also has homodont dentition, which means that all of its teeth are basically the same type, they don't vary at all, and this is found in modern day reptiles. You would expect if this thing was omnivorous that its teeth would vary a little bit more so that it could handle a variety of food items. Basically, we would think it would look like mammal teeth, where we have some sharp teeth in the front for tearing and chewing teeth in the back for plant matter. So Nido King might be an obligate carnivore? Let me know what you think.